Hello everybody and welcome to the postseason here on MLB The Show 18. This is our San Francisco Giants franchise and after a 104 win season, the most wins I believe, um, we are tied for the most wins we have ever had in this uh, series. We have not had 104 wins twice. And, well, you have in the AL the Minnesota Twins, who won the AL Central, take on the Houston Astros, who won the West. Then the New York Yankees, who finished with the best record in the American League, take on the Boston Red Sox, who won the wild card game over the Baltimore Orioles. In the NL, you have the Washington Nationals taking on your very own San Francisco Giants. Meanwhile, the team that finished with the best record in the National League, they won the NL Central, take on the Milwaukee Brewers who defeated the Arizona Diamondbacks in the wild card game. Without further ado, let's get into this one. The Giants did have the better record between these two teams, so they will have home field advantage this series. Oh, 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 wow, what a season these two teams had. You see a closer look at the brackets here, if you wanted to see. Oh, oh I have been looking for, forward to this for a very long time, and we are finally here. Year three, can we win it all? <clears throat> National League Division Series here. Game one. In San Francisco, AT&T Park, Washington Nationals, they will be at the team hitting first, and James Paxton takes the mound for the Giants. And leading things off for the Nationals squad will be a shortstop, Trey Turner, and Paxton sends him down, swinging her out. Number one is that is how this playoff, uh, these playoffs will begin for these two teams. Now Paxton sends Michael Brantley down swinging two away. And you see the Giants fans already hyped up after a pretty decent uh, first two outs from their starting pitcher. Paxton struggled late in the season and he's looking to make up for his struggles in the regular season with a good postseason strike three he strikes at the side in the first now I will show you our stats and stuff later on Buster Posey did not break the home run record he is the MVP Chris Archer was your Cy Young but uh, not Buster Posey. Tommy Pham won the batting title and much more. This team was so dominant. Steven Strasburg, he's taken the mound for the Nationals in this one. And, well, that's not the way he wanted to start off the game. A leadoff double for Devin Travis. And the Giants are hopefully going to drive him in and get on the board first. You see... Tommy Pham hit 350, 349 to be exact, during the regular season. He absolutely crushed the ball. And now he will start his postseason off well, his postseason off well as well. An RBI double for Tommy Pham and the Giants strike first here in this National League Division Series. And that will bring up... Buster Posey, your National League MVP. The most valuable player of the National League, Buster Posey. The third year in a row, a San Francisco Giant has won it. His former teammate, Jonathan Scope, playing for the Red Sox against the Yankees over on the AL side of things. And Buster Posey showing why he won it. Deep center field. Out of here, 453 feet, and the Giants take an early 3-0 lead. That'll bring up Freddie Freeman. 
uh, three balls, no strike to count on him here. And he pops that one up. Would have been ball four instead. It is the first out of the inning. Whew, wow. Pop out from Chris Davis and Orlando Ortiz. Not your rookie of the year. He um, strikes out. I, no, he grounds out. As that will end the first inning. So James Paxton, after striking out the side in the first, he toes the rubber here, top of the second inning. And it's a 2-2 count as Ryan, <clears throat> Ryan Zimmerman fouls that ball off. Now the 2-2 pitch. Strike three swinging. Four batters, four strikeouts for James Paxton to start off his 2020 postseason. Hunter Renfro will step in here, and he did go, says the first base umpire, and it is now a 1-2 count. And that ball inside. What I was saying is uh, James Paxton's having a good start to his 2020 postseason as he strikes out his fifth batter in a row. Uh, let me make sure I didn't change. I haven't changed my. Oh my God, go! I haven't changed my pitching difficulty all year. It's on All Star. You can see there. And now a 3-0 count on Michael A. Taylor. He will watch that fastball strike one. Three-one count now. And now Cutter just a bit high and inside, says the home plate umpire. And that is the first base runner of the game for Washington. Doesn't look like that's really going to phase Paxton. 1-2 count here and... Oh, it fouled off. Trevino. And, and Levy Trevino, he will step in here. 1-2 count. And that's a base hit. So maybe Paxton, he's losing his stuff a bit here in the second. And when I say losing his stuff, I mean he's already halfway to 10 strikeouts on the game, and it's the second inning. And that fastball called just a bit high. 2-1. And knuckle curve fouled off. Counts 2-2. Paxton just barely able to get a piece of it is Jonathan Lucroy. He is a, also a former San Francisco Giant. And he hits one center field. That will drop in. One run will score. Fam, he throws it to third. The runners stay put. An RBI single for Jonathan Lucroy. And it's a 3-1 game. That will bring up Steven Strasburg. And Paxton. Long inning for him here. He's looking to... Send Strasburg down so he can get back to that dugout and out number three. But the Nationals do take one run back, and it's a 3-1 game. Giants go down 1-2-3 in, uh, in their half of the second. And then a one-out triple from Michael Brantley in the top of the third. Brings up Anthony Rendon. Of course, Bryce Harper now on the Pittsburgh Pirates is no longer with this Nationals team. And that ball popped up. Buster Posey's there. And there's two away. And Paxton. Oh, fooling. Uh, Ryan Zimmerman there. Full count pitch. Strike three swing. That's strikeout number six on the game. Now Devin Travis, Travis, who doubled in his last at-bat, steps in. 3-1 count on him here. And the pitch is hit pretty well. Center field carrying to the track, and it will be brought in over the shoulder of, who's that, Michael Taylor? Michael A. Taylor. What a catch. Tommy Pham strikes out. Buster Posey singles. Freddie Freeman will ground out to end the inning. Davis, he grounds out, or he strikes out, and so does the guy after him. Not much happening here. The Devin Travis does get a single next at-bat. 
And an RBI double from Tommy Pham brings up Buster Posey. Posey's two for two in this one. Has a long ball and a single, I believe. And the 1-1 one, one pitch to him is lasered into left field. And that's another RBI for Buster Posey. And it's 5-1 Giants. Freddie Freeman pops out. Paxton, he has nine strikeouts to make it ten strikeouts on the game as Orlando Ortiz. His rookie year, he goes deep here. And it's 6-1. Now with 11 strikeouts and two outs in the inning. James Paxton gives up a base hit into left field. The Nationals will send the runner. Throw to the plate is off for him. That'll allow run to score and, the, and another runner to advance over to third. And now with the game kind of slipping away from him. Hector Rondon will get the ball in place of James Paxton here. As Devin Travis, an RBI triple here. As Paxton has quite a day, 11 strikeouts, gives up two runs, two earned, and goes six and two third. And Tommy Pham goes down swinging there. It's a seven to two game. As Devin Travis over on third. If he gets another at bat, that would be that would be very big for him because he is a home run away from the cycle. And Buster Posey, that'll be a sack fly for him, and it'll be 8-2. And it's looking as a double from Freeman, and a single Freeman's thrown out at the plate. And now we head to the bottom of the eighth, where Orlando Ortiz will lead off. So I don't think Devin Travis will get another at-bat, but nonetheless, quite the day for him here a home run away from the <clears throat> from the cycle here in the first game of this 2020 postseason for the Giants they love to uh, take down the Nationals the Giants have not made it past the division series in this series they have their first year they lost in the fifth game to the Dodgers last year they got destroyed by the Brewers in the wild card game and now they look to make their first championship appearance since 2014, which is six years ago. Sorry, yeah, 14. Six years ago, they were world champions. Now, they have not done it much since. Count runs full here on Brandon Crawford. The pitcher's spot is up next. The 3 2 pitch to Crawford is hit sinking and it gets past the diving right fielder. Crawford is not a fast runner whatsoever. And nonetheless, he will be in there with a one out triple. And that will allow. Uh, probably, yeah, I'll, I'll let Brett Gardner hit. That will allow Brett Gardner to hit the runner on third. And Gardner, he fouls that one off. It'll be 2 2. So, Giants, even though it's looking like they will probably win game one, they don't want to take any chances. Every insurance run will help. And that is an RBI ground out for Brett Gardner, two away. Now Andrew Tolles up, and actually, if Tolles is able to get on, that will give Devin Travis one last at-bat. And that ball fouled off. It's a 1-2 count. You know Devin Travis wants the opportunity. You know Tolles wants to be able to give him the opportunity. Will he come through in the opportunity? I don't know. Very difficult task to accomplish. Currently, uh, and Tolles grounds out. And the actual MLB, Brock Holt for the Red Sox, hit the first ever postseason cycle uh, this year. 
Mark Melanson. He walks a batter and then a double play. Two outs here, top of the ninth. Giants looking to win game one. That ball's hit well, left center field, and bam, is there, and the Giants win the first game of this National League Division Series. You can see all the guys are hyped up. Buster Posey is your MVP. He goes 3-for-3 three three with a home run and four RBIs. James Paxton gets the win. Steven Strasburg picks up the loss. And the Giants win game one. The final score of 9-2. to two. But now Max Scherzer takes on the National League Cy Young. J uh, not James Harden. I was going to say James Harden. National League Cy Young Chris Archer. Archer got himself into a jam in the first. Able to get out of it though. Davis walks. He's the only base runner of the day. For the Giants. And... We are through three innings, no score. And you can tell. I knew going into this, this would be a pitcher's duel. And a ground out, so. Bottom of the fifth, that ends poorly for both teams. And now, top of the sixth, Archer. Hits his tenth strikeout, Scherzer at seven. And a two-run shot for Chris Davis. Makes it 2 nothing Giants. That could be all they need to win this. Of course. Um, oh, saving your bullpen would be incredibly useful. But you also need to win. You definitely need to win. As you see, the other National League Championship Series is tied. Astros are up on the Twins 1-0. And the Red Sox up on the Yankees 1-0. Uh, like I was saying, though, saving your bullpen is huge. We have a deep bullpen, though. So it's not worth overworking Chris Archer. And they'll bring in Felipe Rivera with one out, one on. And a 2-1 count now on Michael A. Taylor. It's not worth overworking your starter if you have a bullpen like we do. And... Like the Milwaukee Brewers had here in 2018 as Rivera strikes out Taylor. I'd say Felipe Rivera is our shutout guy. The guy who we can bring in if we're in trouble. And he can get us out of a jam. 3-1. That's ball four. Two runners on. It's a one-run game here. 1-2. One, and Rivera... Oh, a foul ball. We'll go one more pitch. Little tapper. Freeman. He will have to dive to get to the base first. But he does. And the Giants are one game away from going to the National League Championship Series. Chris Archer gives up one run on one 12 strikeouts, three walks, and goes eight and one innings pitch. He will be your player of the game. The save goes to Felipe Rivera. The loss will go to Max Scherzer, who gave up that two-run shot. Final score, two to one. Things are heating up here in this championship series. Play one more game this episode. Whether it's a loss or not, this is the final game of the episode. Drew Pomeranz versus Johnny Cueto. In Washington, D.C. Here we go. See, if we look at the pitching matchup, this every other series was tied 1-1 except this one. Giants are the only team to take a 2-1 lead. Currently, the Nationals are the only team in the postseason left that have not won a game. The Brewers are up 2-1. The rest of the series are tied 1-1. Can the Giants sweep and move on? Now, Orlando Ortiz will start things off here. Top of the first inning. 
O2 count on him. And he just gets a piece of it to foul it off. He just... Okay, that's what I thought. O2 count on Ortiz. And the pitch. Swung on and missed in the dirt. Ortiz is fast. He... Yeah, the catcher had to, Luke Roy had to rush to get the throw over there. Good throw on target, though, and there is one away. Now Tommy Pham steps in. 0-2 oh, count, and he hits it to right field. Hits it right at the right fielder. Renfro for out number two. Now a 1-1 one, one count, and in steps Buster Posey. The pitch to Posey, grounded, and the throw to first is in time. That sends we, us to the bottom of the first. Giants go down 1-2-3. Now a 3-0 count on Trey Turner, and it's 3-1. Now the 3-1 pitch is struck well, and Turner has some wheels. That will be at least a double. That'll be a, oh, okay. They're able to get in fast enough, so it will only be a double. I thought for sure that was going to turn into a triple, but Turner stays put. Does They don't want to risk him uh, getting thrown out. Because this could be a huge opportunity for them to take an early lead. And Turner tags and gets to third. Very much a daring move there from Turner. So now, Cueto needs to find a way to try and keep Turner where he is. Not allow him to come home and score. But it's a 3-1 count. Ryan Zimmerman on deck. And it's a full count now. Great pitch from Cueto. And the slider. Hit into right field and Tolls is there. He's going to... Uh, uh, Turner tests his arm and Turner ends up coming in to score. And it's one nothing Nationals, their first lead of the series. As I feel like players might play better on the verge of elimination... Maybe not Ryan Zimmerman, though. Stay right three. He's gone. Now, Freddie Freeman flies out. Chris Davis doubles. He won't score, however. Johnny Cueto goes, strikes out, but... or whatever. Oh, my God. I'm messing up my words. Andrew Tolls goes deep. And it's a tie game. One all. And Chris Davis goes deep. It's... 2-1 now. Giants. They have the lead now. Cueto. He is doing what he did in the regular season. Just barely didn't win the MVP. RBI double for Buster Posey. Sorry, not MVP, Cy Young. RBI double for Buster Posey. It's 3-1 now. So after a leadoff walk to Rendon. And then a single from Zimmerman. Nobody out. Two runners on. That ball is hit up the middle. That will score Rendon. And it's a 3-2 game. Cueto in some trouble here. 3-1. And it's in there. Full count. The 3-2 pitch. Hit well. It's foul. I didn't want to throw this pitch again, but okay. That's why. And that ball takes a weird bounce. Davis gets to it quickly. Tie game. It's a tie game in the seventh. Nationals are heating up, and Cueto's day is done. They're go we're going to bring in Mark Melanson, who gets a double play and then strikes out the next batter. He gives up a leadoff single to Victor Robles, though. And that means we need to bring in Craig Kimbrell. Like I said, we have such a dominant bullpen. Some of the best, best closers in baseball all on this team. 
And Kimbrel will strike out Trey Turner. Now, 3-1 pitch. That ball flown up in the air. Davis will get there. What a play. Running into that wall. Runner on first, two away. And they check the runner over there at first. 2-2 two, two pitch. Fouled off. Kimbrel. Into right field. Tolls on the move. Can't get there. The ball lands foul. Strike three. Swing in. And that will uh, that'll conclude the eighth. Now Tommy Pham to lead off the ninth. Herbert Ball on the mound for the Nationals. Full count pitch to Pham. Hit fairly well into right field. Under it is Renfro, one away. And now Buster Posey, one for three in the game, steps up. The 1-1 one, one pitch to Posey. Fouled off. And it's 1-2. One, 1-2 two. One, two pitch. Inside, 2-2. Two, two. Now the 2-2 two, two pitch to Posey. Fouled off. Buster Posey, he's not going down without a fight. Go, go, go. Well, I can't talk right now. Again, the 2 2 pitch. Drilled. Too short. Turner fields. Throw to Zimmerman. Two away. One, one count. Two outs here. Freddie Freeman up for the Giants. Traded for him on the trade deadline. Sent Eric Hosmer to Atlanta for him. And he hits it deep. Center fielder reads it wrong. He runs into the wall. And Freeman, he thought about going all the way, and he gets caught up. And Freeman's tagged out. Oh, he, he missed the home run by a matter of inches. And that's a leadoff single for Ryan Zimmerman. So now... The Nationals might be in business. They might be in business here. And Jonathan Lucroy bunts it. They get Zimmerman and Lucroy safe at first. Now a double play might be in order. Michael Taylor now. 3-0 count. It'll be three at one. It'll be three two. Taylor thought it was ball four. Strike three. Fighting back from a three zero count. Craig Kimbrell strikes out Taylor. And now Hunter Renfro up. One two count. And that's fouled off. Again, the 1-2 pitch. Game 3 is going to extras. Chris Davis, he homered earlier. He grounds out. Matt Carpenter grounds out. Brandon Crawford flies out. Craig Kimbrell in his third inning of work here. Probably his last. It's a good thing that Archer went deep into the game in game 2. Or sorry, game Game one? I think. Good thing Archer went deep into a game when he did. That saved our bullpen strength. As that gives us the opportunity to use 
more pitchers in this game if we have to. But another leadoff single for the Nationals. And Travis Darno will pinch hit. And we also got some dude pinch running. That would be Weeders. Not Matt Weeders. Some other Weeders. And Darno. He gets a base hit. And there's now two on, nobody out. A ball into the gap can win it. So who do we bring in? We bring in Felipe Rivero. Just so you know, kind of a glitch in the game when you do that because they're already uh, warmed up. Trey Turner, foul ball. 1-2. And he's going to try and bunt on 1-2. and two. He gets it down, and they don't even get Turner at first. How do I do it? How do I do this? Hold on. No. I want to make sure we're... I want bunt defense. There's also... Oh, defensive positioning. Okay. Um, right now, I want... Yeah, bunt defense. 1-1 one, one pitch. Michael Brantley can win it. And that is called... Strike two. And... Rivero can't grab it. Ball game over. It's three or it's two one. Nationals staying alive. Let's play one more. Let's just get the series over with. We'll finish off the series this episode. <clears throat> what a game that was. Now, David Price versus Joe Ross. Tommy Pham singles. Buster Posey singles. We won't score, though. And that's an RBI double. It's 1-0 Nationals. And it's 1-1 RBI single for Buster Posey. And they get two more in the third. Solo shot for Orlando Ortiz. And Brandon Crawford makes it back-to-back -back jacks. It was a tie game. They scored again. And uh, Tommy Pham goes deep. Chris Davis goes deep at 6-4. It's a 6-5 game. And Tr Devin Travis goes deep as well. We're going to bring in Kevin Quackenbush. And he does good in the 6th. I think we may have had an injury. Brandon Crawford, 3-run shot. It's 11-5. Solo shot, Tommy Pham, he's 5 for 5 in this game. He's having an insane day. Two run shot, Andrew Tolles. It's 14 to 5. Hector Rondon enters the game. The Giants have a 9 run lead. Okay, the Brewers defeated their opponents in four they are moving on to the NLCS now will it be the Giants playing them or the Nationals it's not looking good for Washington Hector Rondon looking to get the final three out and that's a leadoff base hit for Trey Turner despite the great effort from Devin Travis the Giants can't let up till this game is over. They can't get too confident. Because the Nationals made the playoffs for a reason. It is not a fluke that they are here. Despite having a very bad record. 2-1. Ball fouled off. 2-2. And it's in new center field, 
and diving to try and stop it is Tommy Pham. It bounces off his head. Hopefully he's okay. He tried diving to cut the ball off. And that ball hit him pretty hard in the head. And it looks like he'll be okay. And that's an RBI. And it's 14 to 6. One, two strikes, three swinging. The Nationals are down to their final out. Hunter Renfro pops it up and the San Francisco Giants are moving on to the National League Championship Series. That is one challenge down. One, two more to go. Two more celebrations left for the Giants. The first time in this series that they are going to the LCS. Your not National League champions, but your National League Division Series co-champions, the San Francisco Giants. Tommy Pham, he's out here. He went 5 for 6 with 2 home runs, 2 RBIs, a double, 3 runs scored. And you see his teammates, they're all happy for him. And, I mean, just a great game from all of our, from all of our um, players. The Giants are moving on. Now we find out who else is moving on, and I will wrap up the episode. Giants couldn't quite complete the sweep, but they do win in four. So now we go and look. The Minnesota Twins defeated the Astros. So it will be Giants Brewers and Twins Red Sox. Next episode, we find out who will win the pennants. Episode after that. Might be World Series time. Might be off season. For now, that'll wrap things up. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Peace.